बता देना हे गाइस इस डॉक्टर अमन सेतिया योर मेडिसिन फैकल्टी एट एल एन एक्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू रिजॉल्व योर कंफ्यूजन अबाउट हाउ टू चूज अ ब्रांच सो द बेस्ट ब्रांच इन इंडिया लाइक दैट इज लाइक प्रिफर्ड बाय एवरी वन दैट इज योर रेडियो डायग्नोसिस सो दैट इज इन माई ओपिनियन वेर एवर यू आर गेटिंग इट जस्ट टेक इट सो बिफोर दिस लेट एस वॉच अ वीडियो ओके गाइस सो कम बैक टू अवर मेन थिंग लाइक दिस इज लाइक वॉट शी इज नोइंग नथिंग अबाउट दिस ब्रांच सो टू अवॉइड सच स्टूपिड कन्फ्यूजन लाइक दीज आर पीपल दो सो क्रिएट नॉन सेंस इन द एनवायरमेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट आर डिस्कशन विथ द ब्रांच वर्सेज करियर वर्सेज योर कॉलेज सो अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग देर आर टू थिंग्स लाइक Branch and college. So, depending on uh, what branch you choose. So, in my opinion, I just like it may be different from others, but I am just uh, trying to give you an honest opinion. This uh, branch is like your wife or your husband, and college is like the uh, I can say the venue of your marriage. So, after few years, uh, let's like suppose after ten years, twenty years, thirty years, nobody will ask you like uh, what was your venue of your marriage, but people will ask you like what is your speciality. That's very very important. so i know this is the peak time you have to choose your branch wisely there are many students always they make a mistake in choosing uh, uh, they choose a wrong branch then uh, uh, like they are frustrated they end up in frustration so to avoid this let us discuss the pros and cons uh, of each and every branch so i'll be talking here about the clinical branches because these are those branches which are highly preferred in india so starting with the first one the top branch of our country that is radio diagnosis so you can see a lot of pros that is there is huge money so starting salary you can easily get a good salary means there will be around a 3 to 3.5 lakhs in the beginning that's very very decent salary then you can see a decent work life balance there is less stress and branch and you can see like it is a very top and well reputed branch we call them doctor of doctors so this is like again i am telling the same thing wherever you are getting it this is the best branch radio diagnosis If you talk about uh, cons, like again, we have few cons. Like private setup is expensive, but again, uh, you are doctor, you can easily get a loan from this. So, in my opinion, what I will say, in my opinion, if I want to give my opinion, there are no cons. Only pros. So that is the branch called radio diagnosis. Okay, coming to next one, general medicine. So, which is my specialty. So, pros is like uh, a good money. Job opportunities are very decent. This is very very important point. Means uh, wherever you are, you will get a lot of calls. कि यहाँ job कर लो, वहाँ job कर लो, इतने पैसे मिल जाएंगे तो तो means आपको job के लिए भागना नहीं है. Again, uh, uh, if you are uh, like uh, settling your career in a uh, uh, like uh, second tier or third tier city, अगर आप एक छोटे town में रहना चाहते हो, remember this MD medicine is king of the hospital. But again, there is a huge competition and there is high demand of super specialty in metro cities. So this is very very important. because understand if you are uh, living in place like delhi mumbai jaipur or big places like uh, chennai bangalore in these places a member agar aapko pet mein dard ho raha hai people will prefer gastroenterologist that's very very important again uh, a second cons will be like uh, the three years of pg journey will be uh, full will be loaded with stress there will be many night duties so workload is more but again if you want to settle your career uh, i can say in a good uh, uh, in a second tier city or i can say suppose in a town then you can make huge money in this branch coming to third one pediatrics so pediatrics are again it is considered a relatively an end branch so there are few branches which i will say like medicine surgery gynae pediatrics these are branch which are called evergreen branch so again it is the benefit of this branch is like uh, there is good money then you can see the best benefit i can see like it is considered relatively end branch so compared when then we compare this to medicine it's relatively an end branch there are good job opportunities and it's considered an evergreen branch now coming to accounts like again 
there is a workload more and there is increasing competition but again these are not uh, that cons okay coming to next that is dermatology only one cons i could see that is less seats available rest there is no cons at this branch all are benefit means there is good money no emergency no stress a good work life balance and it's considered a top and reputed branch so this is like these are the benefits of dermatology coming to general surgery which many of you are uh, thinking to take so understand the general surgery again pros there is a good money like medicine here also aapko ghar baithe job mil jayegi but the uh, there is a good uh, surgeon swag so then you can see the cons is again if you are living in a metro city so medicine surgery almost they carry same disadvantage so agar aap metro city mein reh rahe ho then there is a need to do super specialty then remember this is like uh, uh, i can say setup is difficult and there is a more it's more responsible and sometimes there are some uh, like uh, trauma cases emergency surgery so they are risky patient so these are benefits and uh, cons of choosing general surgery coming to obstetrics and gynecology so uh, what i have one word for this branch is that is it is considered best of both worlds it is the only branch where you will get benefit of both medicine as well as surgery so aap dawai bhi likhoge medicine jaise aap surgery bhi karoge you will do c section you will do normal delivery so that is like again good money job is good ghar baith ke aapko job mil jayegi well reputed branch but again we have some cons like there is more workload there are emergencies more sensitive cases sometimes you will see there are many complicated pregnancies so that is the cons there are many night duties so people many many people they get frustrated when they choose their career in gynecology so the, because there are a lot of night duties very hectic okay coming to next one this is your orthopedics again good money emergencies uh, uh, i can say these are not less even when i can say emergencies are more nowadays then you can see well reputed good money but nowadays what you can see you can see a lot of saturation competition is more and this is the only like cons which i can see that is physically demanding in nature and uh, many times there are uh, some complication which are not fully treated so uh, patient satisfaction is not fully achieved coming to next that is ent ear yeah, nose throat so again uh, a good surgical branch emergency is less less stressful relatively end branch so you don't have to do super specialty and a comfortable schedule means you can go to the hospital based on your own time but uh, uh, compared to this the money is the issue less money less reward so these are the two cons of choosing ent ophthalmology ophthalmology again money is good less emergency less stressful and end branch then if you talk about cons you can see saturation setup is very very expensive and even the machines the equipment of ophthalmology they are very expensive so again there is a more corporate involvement and there are many things which are not covered in insurance so these are like uh, pros and cons of ophthalmology coming to anesthesia uh, there is good money there is no setup needed there is good scope there are fixed uh, work time so basically i can say it's relatively a chilled branch so 3 years of uh, i can say your pg your residency in anesthesia might be hectic but remember after pg you will get a, a decent work life balance the biggest cons i can see in anesthesia is like uh, every person they want to make some extra money that extra money you can make by uh, opening an opd so there is no benefit of opening an opd like uh, nowadays many anesthesiologists they are opening uh, like pain clinic but uh, remember uh, again there is a limited growth and the second drawback which i can see in this branch is there is a huge dependency means you are dependent on on a uh, surgeon you are dependent on a gynecologist so that is like a dependent branch coming to tb and chest again this is like a, a substitute of general medicine and uh, many places you will see again you are working uh, like in a periphery in a town then remember tb and chest many people they call them as pulmonologist so again there are many uh, cases of copd in india asthma cases tb pleural effusion so these all are under the tb and chest so understand this it's an emerging branch again the benefit of benefit when compared to medicine it's an end branch then what are the drawbacks or cons of this branch so remember a relatively less money right and there's a limited growth and a uh, second drawback i can say like uh, many cases of tb so there is risk of some aerosol bone uh, disease which can be transmitted coming to psychiatry which is again there are many uh, pros good money emerging branch a good life a proper work life balance highly demanded metro cities because there are people with depression with anxiety with sexual problems so 
again a good branch end branch then what are the cones of this branch so remember uh, the biggest cones i can say is there is a stigma what is the stigma we call them as pagalon ka doctor so that is the stigma of this branch and sometimes it become boring and dull and sometimes there are cases which are very difficult to understand which are out of the box so that is like uh, some difficulty difficult emergency cases sometimes difficult opd cases we will see and again the uh, opd setup will take some time coming to next is radiotherapy again uh, do not confuse radio diagnosis that is that is not glorified doctor that is top rated branch then we have radiotherapy the biggest advantage of this branch which i can say is like with this branch you can do super specialty in medical oncology this is the best benefit of this branch means you are eligible for dm in medical oncology so generally you will see like a, a dm a, a oncologist you will see like they are either a general medicine or pediat or md pediatrics or they are a person like who have uh, done your their md in radiotherapy in in fact most of the people they take radiotherapy in a view like in future they want to become oncologist then cones will be like again uh, it is good uh, to do uh, in metro cities but again you can see like uh, there are a depression because most of these patients are uh, cancer patient they are taking radiotherapy so again the mortality is very high there is keeping of income but then you can see there are very few centers with are uh, fully fledged so only radiotherapy is not a good option not not a good option at all but when you take radiotherapy in a view like i want to become a future oncologist that is a good option again i am repeating sirf radiotherapy nahi lena hai रेड थेरेपी लेके आगे प्लान करना है कि मुझे आगे ऑनकोलॉजिस्ट बनना है गुड ब्रांच फैमिली मेडिसिन अगेन इट्स अ मिक्स ऑफ ऑल ब्रांच अगेन इट्स अ गुड ब्रांच फॉर रूरल एरियाज द बेनिफिट विच आई कैन से ओनली बेनिफिट इट इट इज एटलीस्ट बेटर देन बीइंग एमबीबीएस सिर्फ एमबीबीएस से बढ़िया तो ये है इज क्लियर देन कमिंग टू एमरजेंसी मेडिसिन सो वी हैव लाइक अगेन देर इज अ गुड एड्रलिन रश सो बड़ा अच्छा लगता है when you see an emergency case just me sabne ummeed chhod di and you are saving the patient suppose there is a patient with a vt ventricular tachycardia or a patient with uh, i can say ventricular fibrillation or a patient in shock or aapne usko bacha liya so that is like giving you some kind of kick or a little rush a good uh, money there are fixed decent hours working hours but again there are there is saturation because most of these patient like many time a critical care expert when anesthesiologist many time i can say general medicine people they are also uh, dealing with the same patient so again there is uh, the next drawback i can say is in emergency medicine there is no opd so these are some benefits and uh, i can say pros and cons of each of these branches so this is the time like uh, i know you are filling your choices for the counseling so just uh, watch this video once because this will give you some idea because sometimes suppose you are like when i was a student of your age i was confused like i will take uh, i can say psychiatry or i will take general medicine or i will take pathology or i will take pharmacology because these were four my favorite subject then uh, slowly slowly i i uh, ruled out these two subjects means i ruled out psychiatry i ruled out uh, i can say uh, i ruled out psychiatry i ruled out pharmacology then uh, uh, like i made a mistake like i i took md pathology so pathology is like medicine in the beginning but later on i realized there is no patient interaction so that is why do not do the mistake which i did choose your branch wisely very very important like in pathology you will not see the patient you cannot open the, you cannot have an opd you are just sitting in lab so same thing in like suppose uh, if you are taking your career i can say in emergency medicine again you will not have opd so there will be no backup so opd is what we call this in, in like in short form what we call we call it pp pp means private practice so that is something which is an additional income which uh, uh, like after your uh, tenure of life you will realize that there are many doctors ultimately they are settling them in private practice is okay so again these are the pros and cons of clinical branch and these are the branches i know which you are filling in your choices so this is uh, again an important video if you want uh, me to make a video non clinical branch so uh, you can uh, uh, put in the comment box i'll try to make the pros and cons of non clinical branches thank you so much just remember one thing like whatever branch you feel like i like this i can do a wonder in this take that branch This is from my side all the best keep working hard bye bye